Hello team, welcome to a weekly vlog. So, I vaguely mentioned this on Twitter, but basically I'm going to try out weekly vlogging. I'm thinking I'm going to upload it on my main channel, but obviously you guys will see um, by which channel this popped up on as to whether I decided to upload it on my main channel or not. Basically, I'm back in Doncaster today. I am going to London and I'm filming with Childline. What on earth? Um, it is Monday, but I'm missing uni, so it's fine. I only had one hour lecture anyway. Um, and obviously it's Childline, so I couldn't not go to do that. So that is the plan for this evening, not this evening, this afternoon. I'm going to London at about two, so luckily it's quite a late train. The shoot's at half four and then I get back at like seven. So um, for a London trip, it's actually really, really short. I think I'm on the train longer than I'm actually in London. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I'll be back at uni and now I am carving a pumpkin. <laughs> Me and dad went pumpkin picking. You might have seen some photos on my Instagram. Dad's already done his pumpkin because he got too excited and he's a child. But this is Dad's and it looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't actually researched what I want to do to mine, but I'm going to kind of empty it out. It's very big. I don't think I've ever carved a pumpkin this large, but yeah, we'll see. I've got my laptop ready for some like YouTube, I guess, and I'll update you when I've finished the pumpkin. actually pretty impressed with myself I did this all freehand because one the pen had run out and two I couldn't be bothered to draw it so I just kind of freehanded it got some Pinterest inspiration but yeah I am pretty impressed with myself I've got very gross hands now so I should go and wash them but yeah I look a lot different to the last clip you saw me in I've got my makeup on now I've attempted probably very badly to cover up my spotty face um i realized that there is a really big connection with my anxiety and when i pick my skin i pick my shoulders I pick my face i pick my chest and it's got really bad i've also stopped biting my nails again i've got fake nails on from isla because obviously i'm shooting today don't really fancy looking like a toe so i've put a lot of effort into my makeup <laughs> I actually spent time doing it which has been a while, I chopstick curled my hair yesterday um, and I'm feeling quite good um, so I'm just packing my bag. I wasn't going to take my laptop but I realised I'm on a train for four hours and that four hours could be done, could be useful for work um, so I'm gonna try and do some work. I think I've got a meeting tomorrow with someone from Visit Lincoln, they're wanting someone to do a mural in Lincoln um, so me and Lena because we're both design students as part of our course kind of like module work we're going to go meet them and see what they want um so i need to put a portfolio together which scares me a little bit but yeah that is what i'm going to do so i'm just putting like the bits and bobs in my bag i'm using my old uni bag like this is an old um river island bag and it's very autumnal so i'm enjoying it because this is the only one that i have that will fit my laptop in because I left my backpack in Lincoln. So yeah, I'm wearing that bag. I think I might wear my new coat that I've not worn yet. So I'm gonna wear this dress with a choker, um, tights and boots, and then this coat and the red bag. I thought that'd be a cute combo. I don't know, I just fancy looking nice. And also I need to put some lipstick in my bag because I need some lipstick. And Jade very kindly brought it with her when she came to pick Annie up yesterday. Um, Jade will have got a vlog up now when she picked Annie up, so I'll try and remember to leave that linked. If not, Jade's channel is literally just Jaddles, so J-A-D-D-L-E-S. -D -D -E um, she picked um, Annie up the other day with her family and it was super, super cute. Um, so go and watch that because I didn't actually vlog on Sunday myself. But right, I'm gonna continue packing my bag. We've got like 25 minutes before I need to leave. Um, I'm very ahead of time because it's 2pm and I'm excited and scared. Ah. I'm in King's Cross. I look very weird because I'm talking to a camera. Story of my life. Um, but I've just got to walk over to the YouTube space. I think I'm going to go St Pancras and go to the toilet and sort my face out. I feel like I probably need a bit of powder or something. And 
a little birdie told me, aka Molly, that if you go to St Pancras, the toilets are free. So I'm gonna go in there. Um, but yeah, I've got a cool autumnal outfit on. You need to check out my Instagram. All right, I tried to go to freshen up in St Pancras toilets. That was the world's biggest queue. So I'm changed my mind. I'm walking towards the YouTube space now and I've never actually been in here. I've been able to go in here since I hit 10,000 subscribers, but I'm just, just never been. So I'm excited to see what it's like. I doubt I'll film much when I'm in the shoe unless they like say I can because I'll definitely be a bit overwhelmed. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes when I get out there. But I can see the YouTube logo, so we're nearly there. We've arrived on set. Yay. Greg will go, hi, I'm Greg. We'll go, hi, I'm Alice. Hi, I'm Julia. Mm -hmm. So this middle camera. Yeah. And then Greg will say, and today we're talking about standing up to bullying. Um, and then Greg will do a little intro spiel, and then you just talk to each other for the rest of the video. Hi, I'm Greg. Hi, I'm Alice. Hi, I'm Julia. And today we're talking about standing up to bullying. Do you think that standing up for yourself would really help to stop the bullying? I think in some circumstances it might. Maybe after you've tried a lot of other avenues, maybe you've gone to a teacher, a friend, a parent, asked them what they could do. If that's not helped, maybe it's time to say something to the actual bully. But you have to make sure you're safe before you do that. You don't want to get yourself into any physical fights or any bad situations. But if you carry on being yourself and doing the things that make you happy, they will see that you don't really care about what they're saying. And you will be a lot happier as well, being yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, sticking to what you like and what you love. I, as a YouTuber, experienced people thinking it was really weird, and now people that I was at school with think it's really cool. So things change. I think in terms of actually confronting them and saying, look, I don't like the way you're treating me, I think, again, bo body language, keeping your head up, um, Maybe taking a friend with you, not to mm -hmm. gang up on them, just for a bit of kind of moral support. I know I've been there, so hopefully things like that can help. That was great. Right. Thanks. 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 So we have just wrapped up. This is Julia. Hello. Look at her beautiful hair. Oh. <laughs> so Julia has a channel too. I'll leave the link below. And she's amazing. Cry. <laughs> yeah. We left some good tips for everyone. I've had loads of fun. It was a bit scary, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit scary. We were, we were both as nervous. As There's like three cameras in front of us. Yeah. yeah. Usually we're used to doing this in our rooms. <laughs> yeah, alone. Like. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'll be good. So I'll share the link to the video when it's up but yeah definitely go and subscribe to Julia thank you <laughs> well that was short and sweet and lovely I don't know how good that camera angle was that I got um, I literally just chucked it on top of a light box but you'll probably be able to hear little bits and bobs that we were doing that's going up in anti-bullying week so I'll let you know when that goes up on my Twitter I've got my little like YouTube pin badge I'm very happy they let us keep it I'm gonna add it to my little souvenir box but now I'm going back to the station I've definitely been in London for less time than I will be on the train but I got so much work done on the train it's actually really productive so yeah I'm gonna go to King's Cross might get some food and I'll see you when I'm home good morning um I've got a new fluffy thing on my camera and I literally cannot see myself in the screen look look at how big the fluff is <laughs> Um, I'm back in Lincoln, as you can probably tell. Had a bit of a hectic morning, so I didn't even bother vlogging this morning. But I've got my case, I've just unpacked loads of food shopping. I've never ever brought that much food shopping back. And yeah, that was a lot. Um, also came back to a delivery of this gorgeous book. Look at how beautiful this book is. I saw this when I went to Nottingham. Um, so I ordered it when I got back and it's gorgeous. And it's quite similar to the style that I want my children's book to be. So I am going to look through this for inspiration. I just think it's beautiful. So yeah, so we've got a meeting. We got, we have got a meeting. I think I've left my phone in my car. We've got a meeting um, at uni at half 12 and then I've got another meeting at two and then I'm going to the gym at six. So today's a busy day. I'm not sure when I will update you, but I will update you soon. So that is the plan for today. Look prosthetic in the background. <laughs> 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 I came to uni, yay! Yeah. <laughs> We've now left the uni building, but we saw Graham's baby! Yeah, we did. <laughs> we saw Evelyn, she's so sweet. She's, she's 10 months beautiful. old and she like, I asked if I could hold her and he was like, you can try because she's a bit shy, but she managed to sit on my knee for like two minutes before she got unhappy because there was too many people like, oh my god, baby! When you walk into uni with a baby, it's a bit, it's a bit chaotic, like, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but she was, she was so, so cute. Oh, she has this like 
really cute pensive yeah, face and yeah. I was like <laughs> <laughs> like, so you could just see her working everyone out. Was like, oh. <laughs> we should have made our day we better. We did like a tiny, she did a handshake. Oh, bless her. So, I know, I've got a new fuzz. Um, so, I have just, well, I haven't just been to the gym, but since I last spoke to you guys, me and Lena went to the gym. I think we're dying a little bit, aren't we, Lena? Yes. I can't walk down the stairs and it's only been like two hours since we went. It was intense, it was good, we're gonna go back. We need to book it before it oh, books yeah, up. Sure, we'll do that now. Um, but now we are, <laughs> I've just seen a vagina on the I'm TV. Really <laughs> we're now watching Naked Attraction. I have watched this before. If you know what it is, you know. Um, it's very weird and th these girls haven't seen it before so we're gonna watch that. Together, I just made chicken chorizo paella and Lena bought pudding and it was so good. So yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of TV time, laptop club. I think I want to have a bit of Prosecco, you know? Do you want Prosecco? Yes. Uh, okay, we're gonna have Prosecco. I love England. Hello. Um, I've been at uni since 9 a.m. It's now 12. I'm still not awake. We're all not awake. I won't turn it around and scare everyone. I'm going to go to the panel now, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I'm going to go talk to the panel and pretend I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Give it a go. Um, I'll see if I can film bits, but I don't know. We'll try. We're in the panel room. We are. This is where I had lectures last year. I've never been in this room. Have I kind of like it. Yeah, it's like posh, isn't it? Yeah, it's like suave. Yeah, suave. Suave. Yeah. Suave. yeah, we've got loads of seats here. Look. I never actually vlogged in this room when I used to have a lecture, but this was like Thursday morning lectures, I think, when I was half asleep. Oh, them ones. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's why I never vlogged. There she is. Ready for her close up? <laughs> Can I get much closer? of Lincoln. We've got Kirsty and Emily who will be joining us. They are first year students. They're only in week five of their university degree. So please be nice to them. They are nervous but very excited like small little puppies at Christmas time. Um, we are really happy to have with us Alice Thorpe. Alice actually is a media production student here at the University of Lincoln um, but also a YouTuber in your own time and outside your studies. Um, Alice's YouTube is really fantastic. Welcome. Alice's YouTube is really fantastic. Please do take a look. I particularly enjoyed the hundred pound haul you did with uh, Wilkinsons, yeah. which and those um, the little heart shaped coasters were phenomenal. <laughs> um, so that alone had over three and a half thousand views. So we are in the presence of greatness here. And finally, but not least, so. Like, they don't engage with it to the level that I do. They engage with it because they want to know what their daughter's up to. Like, they don't really follow anyone else. So I feel like the generation gap is quite significant. But then, on the other scale of things, some of my tutors, because I'm a media student, mm. they are more on it than I am, and I'm learning from them. So I feel like there is a difference, but there is quite a clear gap between, like, say, my parents and me. A distinction, is it something that you log onto, or is it just your real life and part of it? I feel like it's kind of combined for me. Like. Um, a lot of the time, you do spend aimless amounts of time scrolling down out of habit, and I'm trying to not do that because time just flies by and you've not done any work. But I mean, when I go on social media, I sometimes I feel like it is just a scroll catching up with my friends, but it is my job. Like my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, everything's kind of connected to my channel, so no matter which one I'm on, I'm connecting with my audience. So if I picked up my phone now and signed into Twitter, I'm working. So I feel like it's hard to distinguish between the two. I don't think I ever really do switch off. I have such a bad addiction to my phone. I don't have it now and it feels weird. That's why I'm playing with the pen. Um, so yeah, it's actually an issue and I'm trying to be more, I'm more aware of it. I'm aware that I need to distinguish between online and off. Like but because my job is online, a lot of my day is involved online or looking at laptops. So it is hard to kind of define between the two. I mean, for example, like when I'm filming, vlogs are different because that's literally just me carrying around what is happening. I don't try and act happy if I'm not. I'm going to say I'm not happy. But for main channel, say for the Wilco ball that was mentioned earlier, it's funny when I'm editing because I'll like hold up the coffee kettle that I got and I'll say, oh, here's this, I got this, it was £10, blah, blah, blah. And then I edit it in my brain. So like after I've held it up, I'll like pause. And then I'll stop and you see my face like go from two, 
to pick up the other one. Like, mm -hmm. It just changes. And it's, it's weird because you don't know you're doing it, but as soon as you know you're not addressing the camera, it kind of changes, yeah. <laughs> Harmony to the melody is echoing inside. We're filming pumpkin videos, yay! <laughs> when I hear my favorite song, I know we belong because you are the music and it's living in all of us. It's here because you are. The music You are the music Na 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 the music Me To let you know, and to let you know, this is real, this is me, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now, gonna let the light shine on me, now I found who I am, there's no way to hold it in, no more hiding who I wanna be, this is me. It's me! <laughs> Hello team, it is now Friday and I am having a lazy day. So yesterday after pumpkin carving I ended up, um, I think me and, yeah, me and Jade ate fajitas and then I went to Brandon's last minute because he needed to practice some lines for a script. So I stopped at Brandon's and then I came back here this morning and I've been editing the pumpkin carving video. If you haven't seen that, it was the last video on my channel. It's so cute. I love it. I love it when I film with Jade. Um, make sure you go and subscribe to Jade too because she's almost at 800 subscribers. I feel like she might have hit 800 by the time this video goes up, but if not, and even if she has, go and subscribe to her. She's lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go downstairs now. I'm going to take my laptop. I think I'm going to make food. I've started eating like feta and tomato salads and they're actually really nice so we're gonna go downstairs and make that i'm still really really aching from the gym on tuesday like it's actually quite bad how much i'm still aching three days later and i'm supposed to be going to the gym tomorrow for a class so i am going to die but yeah um let's make some salad so for this salad i'm gonna put you in the cupboard oh there's no room in that cupboard hang on Where's your little spot? There we go. I use this salad leaf thing. Though all these ingredients are from Lidl, by the way. It's basically leafy, leafy shit as we call it in our house, but still on its stalk. I don't know, it's a weird looking lettuce. I use feta, also from Lidl, and I use tomatoes that are on the vine. I've found out that tomatoes on the vine are actually a lot sweeter than regular tomatoes. So I'm gonna go make that. Might also make myself a smoothie because I've got like a pre-mixed pack thing that I'm gonna do. So yeah, that is, oh my God, my food plans. Hello team, it is now Saturday and it is currently 4 p.m. and I haven't vlogged today. See, the trouble is with weekly vlogging, I'll either end up vlogging way too much or I'll just not vlog enough and I'm, I'm not really sure what I've done yet. We'll find out when I edit this, but basically, um, Brandon slept over last night. We had, what did we have? Sweet and sour chicken. Um, I did loads of work. That's literally all I'm doing with my life. <laughs> work constantly. Um, and now I'm going to go to Brandon's. He's been at uni and one of his tutors has kind of reviewed a bit of his work. So he needs to practice some script stuff. So I told him that I'd go to his on the grounds that we get to order pizza. But <laughs> I was supposed to be going to the gym today with Lana and I cancelled it because I was feeling lazy. So instead of going to the gym, I'm going to eat pizza in my gym clothes. Oh yeah, don't follow my motivation guys. Although I do feel like I can see a bit of a difference with my body. Like, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm not really looking at the scales because I don't own any and I don't care. I just want to tone up. But yeah, this is my gym outfit. Minus the hoodie, obviously. I've got like a top underneath. But in case I decide to go to the gym with Brandon later, I've put this on and gym wear is incredibly comfortable. So this has happened. It is ginormous. Brandon's got his burger. 
I'm happy. Yay, surrounded by work. <laughs> Yep. But pizza is here, so this is making everything better. Mm. I'm actually so excited. I ordered like extra large so I could eat some for breakfast. <laughs> oh, oh my god, guys, it is so cold. I've just got back from Brandon's. I brought back some leftover pizza for my lunch. So ready for that. Um, and it is so cold outside, like all of a sudden it's freezing. So I think it'll be time for me to start taking a coat around with me and a woolly hat. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this week's vlog. I am going to sit down and edit it now before tomorrow, Monday, because uni gets kind of crazy on a Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to edit it. Let me know what you thought of the weekly vlog. Let me know if you'd like me to do more. Let me know if you'd like me to do like shorter bits of days. So like maybe three days in a vlog rather than like a whole week. Just give me some feedback. We'll see how it goes. I've obviously uploaded this onto my main channel. So again, let me know. But thanks for watching. If you got to the very end, comment down below um halloween surprise and i'll know that you got to the very end and yeah thank you so much for watching and for all your support and i'll see you on wednesday with a raw wednesday bye